All right, guys. So this is a quick and random uh, recording I'm doing, real quick, because I've been watching the charts. Earlier today, I spoke to you about the fact that we were, um, I, that I was expecting more liquidation for a weekend, and look, it happened. So we had this, but then we bounced back. And I mean, I just published a video saying that I was expecting. I mean, you could watch it at about 11 minutes of that video saying that I was expecting much more liquidation for a weekend because typically weekends, nobody can cover their positions, right? Because banks are closed. There's no way of actually putting money into your accounts. It's, it's really crazy, right? Um, so I was expecting liquidations and turns out this is Ethereum Classic right now, but let me just go to Ethereum. Turns out that we were having a lot of upward momentum with Ethereum. In fact, we even pierced through our highest point since uh, probably a month ago or a little over a month ago so there were a bunch of sell orders right here a bunch of sell orders waiting shorts waiting and it triggered right so I did a video in which I explained to you when to buy using the two yes so we need two yes the first yes to buy well the first one to went to sell is the 10 crosses below the 20 okay and if at the same time at the very same time that that happens we have the stochastic moving on the negative side that's when we sell so here that would have been a sell okay so now you wonder when do you buy well it's about to happen I'm watching it right now so let's watch this right now we're gonna need two jets actually no, it's not gonna happen right now but we're gonna need two jets we're gonna need the 10 to go back up again and cross the 20 and we're going to be needing the stochastic RSI to move above 20 all right as soon as that moves above 20 and this moves above the 20 right here too we're going to have a buy all right I'm not sure how long this is gonna take I don't want this video to be too long but if you saw when I when I would have recommended it well it didn't happen quite at the same time because you can see right here when it happened it really wasn't here um, it was close it was close but the liquidation was so quickly that um, this one took a little lot to move but the RSI did move on the negative side relatively quickly. Like it crossed right on it, right there, right? Um, and it was because of all this sell pressure. This is called, by the way, the wick of a candle, right? This is the body. Body. And you see how this was a very strong support right here we were holding that support we they hold it a little here this is trying to act as support right now you can see it act as support right now you can watch it literally watch it acting as support right now this is ethereum by the way all right it's trying to act as support when would i buy when i see this one moving right up and when i see this one moving right back up Okay. Not sure. Not sure if it's gonna happen right away. But hey, this is a strategy I explained to you in another video. Please go ahead and watch it. But I'm going to trigger a couple of buy orders myself right now. Not a no recommendation for when to buy and sell. I'm just telling you what I'm doing because I know this right here is strong support. I'm literally gonna put just a couple boxes into. Ethereum right now. I'm not sharing my screen because this is private information, but I am putting in a couple buy orders because I know this is a good support. Now the way I, I divide my buy orders, I don't necessarily just go all in. Um, let's say let's say I want to invest a hundred dollars, right? A hundred dollars. That's literally what I'm gonna do. So let's say I want to invest a hundred dollars. Um, I don't just YOLO, YOLO all in at $100. I divide it into two or three or four different buys. Because what if it keeps dipping, right? So you bought here, you have no money, you're gone. Money's gone. 
you can't you can't do anything about it so let's say I have a hundred box um, why don't I divide it into three so if I divide hundred box into three what does that give me sorry I'm not good at math I use a calculator for everything so thirty three dollars so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put in a buy order for thirty three dollars right now at that price buy Okay, buy thirty-three dollars. Here we go, and I do a market order. I'm not gonna do a limit order because it may not get triggered. So it got triggered. It got triggered. Okay, excellent. All right, perfect. It got triggered slightly higher. Remember, there's a little slippage, so you're gonna lose a little money anyway. But um, a lot of people also use this, and they don't buy right there. Like they wait for the bounce and then wait for confirmation on it so you know there's there's a lot of different techniques I just trigger one right there okay and then I will probably put another one uh, flat I could do a limit right there flat 1500 if it happens happens if it doesn't it doesn't you know what I'll do a limit right now buy limit order Add. 1500 well a lot of people are gonna be waiting for the 1500 and it will immediately bounce back up so you may not be able to feel it so I'm going to do it uh, let's say 1530 eh, let's do 1520 okay I'm gonna put 33 dollars isn't that what I said yeah that's fine all right if it gets trigger, yeah, great. If it doesn't, great. One thing I don't do, I don't, I don't chase prices up. I don't chase prices up. Uh uh. Not a recommendation for when to buy and sell, but I just don't personally like chasing prices up. Okay. So this was a very strong liquidation type of move. All right. And I expect things like this on the weekends. I told you. I told you. All right. So, um, with Solana. Oops, sorry about that. Solana. Where, where is it? Where is it? With Solana, is the same idea. Okay. What's going on? Mm, okay. This is going crazy. <laughs> Alright. So, Solana, um, I'll probably do the same idea. So, let's say I want to invest 100 bucks. So, I divide it into three, right? So, let's say I want to invest 100 bucks. And right now, I will invest the $33 because this is really close to my support right here and I expect a bounce okay I expect a bounce right there all right so Solana I'm gonna buy $33 okay the price right now is at 39 it triggered at 39 30 39 17 so yeah 17 cents it is what it is okay but I set myself a limit for what I want to invest look right so I want to invest a hundred bucks and say you know what I'm going I want to invest a hundred bucks so I'm not gonna be chasing prices all the way up I'm going to be waiting for prices all the way down and I'm going to use my support and resistance the one thing you don't want to do you don't want to buy at the top you want to buy at the bottom right and it looks like we are reversing more top we may have lowers right we may we may go the here we may go here if I would have put all my money in here I would have been destroyed like let's say let's say let's say I thought that this was it right here and I yolo all my money in I'm, I'm gone I have no position I have no leverage I have nothing right now remember my technique is that when the 10 EMA and the stochastics the stochastics crossing above 20 and the 10 EMA is crossing above the 20 EMA we got the 10 and we got the 20 um, that's that's a buy for our swing trade but hey another thing I'm not trying to swing trade today I'm, I'm, I'm long-term buddy I'm here I'm long-term bullish on all of this all right so why what, what am I gonna do so I already I already trigger a, a, an order for Solana there at that price well why don't I put another one uh, the thing is 39 is going to 39 is going to be very strong it's a whole number so it's going to buy and bounce back up I, I, listen look look 
Let's wait for a green candle. I'm telling you right now, this is probably gonna turn green. Not a recommendation for when to buy or sell, but as soon as he approaches the 39.0, it's going to try to bounce back up. By the way, volume picked up right here. You see how volume was very low? This is high volume, low volume, high volume. This is a 45 minute chart. Alright. I'm pretty sure we're gonna bounce right here. Pretty sure. By the way, I don't wanna have two trend lines right next to each other like this. There's a reason why I drew that other one below. Yeah, because of this right here. And the chart starts getting really crazy, but that's that's it. Oh, oof, we we did break through the 38, huh? I'm expecting I'm expecting a positive one, but I'm excited. Keeps going down, I keep buying down, right? Because I have a hundred bucks that I'm investing. And I'm going to break it through little by little, right? But look, look, look at the week. Look at the week. All right, this is a 45 minute candle. The stochastics beginning to turn. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm very excited. I want to buy here if possible. And I'm not going to do a limit. I'm going to, there you go. Keep dropping, baby. Keep dropping. That's what I like. That's what I like. Keep dropping. That's what I want. The more you drop, remember I divided it into three. So I triggered $33 about here. I want to trigger $32 about here. And if anything, I'll have this $33 right here and a limit order at 37 That's not bad. Okay? We just don't chase prices up. We don't chase prices up. Okay? Let's, let's go back to Ethereum real quick. Ethereum, 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 Ethereum. Alright, oof, Ethereum broke through while I uh, had at this support right here. But hey, look, it's weakened. It's a weak, it's being bought up right now. Okay? See that weak? It's as as low as the bears pushed it, and this is as high as the bulls have been able to defend. Right? They're fighting, right? So that's as far as they got and where but look it's starting to turn. Alright. We we really need a green candle right now. Now you see how I'm not like going online trying to figure out what triggered this? I don't care what triggered it. It it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, right? And and there is support right here. Fifteen hundred has been a very strong support. So let's see. All right, so let's go back to to Solana again. Okay, all right, the 39. I'm telling you, 39 is very strong. It went as low as 38, 3890, but 39 is is very strong because it's a whole number. It, it, typically, we try to we try to gravitate towards those whole numbers. Now let's see what happens in here. I don't want to make this video too long, guys, but I do want to show you my thought process all right okay I also have a thing called whale alerts on my phone it tells me what whales are doing on Twitter because as you probably know Bitcoin is not private it's probably the most public thing ever so um, it, it sends me an alert on Twitter every time somebody does something so what happened right now is that eight thousand ethereums which is twelve million dollars was transferred from one wallet to crypto.com typically when they transfer from one wallet to a exchange is what do you think they're gonna do this to sell okay but look at this this is starting to turn we need the green one to also begin to turn and we're gonna be having some confirmation the red one typically does the thing before before anything else all right so let's go back to Ethereum again. Okay, Ethereum's trying to stay there. Well, I, I don't, I, I don't know if this is very strong support. We bounce back here, and we bounce back here. But um, we're still on that channel that I've been talking about, right? We're still on that channel. Nothing, nothing major. All right, so it's, it's turning in here. 
breaking through. Let's see what happens. Solana, let's see what happens. Still 39. What I'm gonna do is uh, let me just draw a little error of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to buy there. I'm expecting a bounce actually off of these two trend lines. I don't think they're gonna go any lower than that. This one's breaking through that, okay. Alright, let's just do a little error here. It turns out that it's easier for me to understand how to like draw things in here because I use Revit, I'm an architect. So I use Revit, I use uh, AutoCAD, Illustrator, Adobe, like I'm really good with this stuff. So I can figure out how to use these tools and work very quickly. That's the only advantage because architects I don't think are that great at, as investors. I don't I don't think we're that great. <laughs> if we were, how many millionaires architects do you know? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's not many. I'm too emotional. Okay. Well, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do a 20 minute video, guys. I'm sorry, but um, this is what I'm expecting here. And I trigger one of my buy orders, but not all of them. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm actually very excited. Today has been kind of crazy. All right, we were up a lot, like six six percent, and now we're down one point four percent. I am down one point four percent or so. Um. I don't just hold one coin though, I hold a bunch of coins. Wow, compound is <laughs> bouncing right back up, which is pretty interesting. Uh, 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 compound, I, I don't even know the coin, I haven't used it before. I've never. But it really bounced right back up. There's a lot of interest in it. There's some coins that are still positive, like Matic still positive, compound, Bitcoin Cash, Uniswap still positive. The bears are winning right now, right? The bears, a lot of sell pressure right there. Lots of sell pressure. See that? That's volume. That's a big, big volume. But I'm happy. Solana's uh, Ethereum remains at 1500. I am super, super happy. Super, super happy. You say, well, what about Bitcoin? Well, let's take a look at Bitcoin. No, it's still supporting itself above my 21,900. <clears throat> um, I call all of this market manipulation. Okay? Because I do know that we've already bottomed. In my opinion, we've already bottomed with uh, Bitcoin. And this week's going to be a very positive week so this is just trying to trigger panic sales so that the big money can buy lower but the ship is about to sail guys this ship is about to sail if you don't think so if you don't think the ship has sail just look at this we were all the way down there <laughs> now we're just consolidating sideways I think the ship is selling. Let me know if you like the candles bigger like this. I think it's better like that. I think it's better. All right. Okay. Fifteen thirty-nine. Did I do a limit order? What what number did I do a limit order? Forgot. I did a limit buy at 1520. We're at 1538. Okay. Now just just practice that idea of like you know paper trade, dividing your sales and buys like that. Don't don't just sell all at once or buy all at once. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Well, I'm doing this real quick. This is a doji. Um, or shooting star almost. It has no body. This is a hammer, okay, hammer, 
this could be counted as a hammer and this could be counted as a hammer okay they also call that topping tail topping tail inverse hammer right this is an up hammer or bottom in tail doji okay oh well I gotta go to bed too um so here is everything guys uh the coins I'm looking at real quick we're still ha holding this support right here and we are about to close this candle this 45 minute candle I think um so no not, not still we're only 30, 23 minutes into the 45 minute candle so we still have like 42 uh, 22 minutes more but the stochastic RSI is starting to turn a little bit it's been trying to turn this is called over uh, oversold this is overbought okay all right so typically people want to buy here and people want to sell here all right but for some reason we tend to do the opposite we tend to just buy when it's green and sell and sell when it's red which is what is the word idiotic it is very idiotic all right but that's it guys this was just a quick I'm not even putting an intro in this video. This is just me quick and dirty. <laughs> Having fun with this thing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. Let's see what the conclusion is going to be on this. All right. Bye-bye.